One of the biggest winners in yesterday's Democratic legislative primaries may have been Republican Governor Susana Martinez. Odd as it sounds, the governor was backing more than a half dozen Democrats, and almost all of them won. Here's News 13's Alex Goldsmith. Dick, it's a weird concept. The governor's PAC bankrolling select Democrats in districts where she knows a Democrat is a shoe in come November. It's a strategy that could make for a friendlier state legislature for Martinez. They came late and they came strong. Flyers attacking some Democratic candidates and supporting others. One of the targets, Jack Sullivan, a northern New Mexico Dem who was in the running for state Senate. All of the ads, courtesy of a group called Reform New Mexico Now, a group Sullivan's campaign manager, Nettie Holgan, hadn't heard of. Who are these folks? It wasn't totally clear until you looked at the group's donors. On the list, two oil companies that had also donated to Susana PAC, Governor Susana Martinez's political action committee. This looks like the, um, the, uh, the governor's behind this PAC. It turns out Holgan was right. Martinez's chief strategist, Jay McCleskey, says Reform New Mexico Now was supported by the governor. We were engaged in five state Senate races and uh, three state House races. It's hard to know the exact impact the last second ads had, but of the eight races, seven turned out in Reform New Mexico Now's favor. So why did the governor try and help Democrats? McCleskey says it's all about helping those who supported the governor's agenda. A lot of those Democrats who helped her were targeted in this election cycle in the primary by some left-wing groups that were seeking to replace them, uh, some of these middle-of-the-road Democrats with more partisan Democrats. UNM political science professor Gabe Sanchez says the governor's tactic may seem underhanded, but it's just how the game is played. If I was one of those uh, candidates running for office that was targeted, I'd probably be singing a different tune. But from the outside perspective, hey, all's fair in love and politics. Four of the Democrats targeted by the governor-supported PAC are crying foul in ethics complaints filed with the Secretary of State. They say Reform New Mexico Now did not report contributions on time. In response, the PAC submitted amended paperwork to show it was obeying the law. Back to you, Dick. Okay, Alex, ironically, the governor had less success with her choice of candidates in two Republican primaries. Her Susana PAC was behind Tucumcari's Angie Spears and Albuquerque's Chris Sacedo. Only Sacedo won.